Hey my lovely doll, so today this lovely makeover is a wedding glam look and let's take in this beautiful before and let's get into the look. by cleansing the face. I didn't show that today. I used micellar water and cleanse the face with a wipe and I'm prepping the skin, prepping the lips to make sure they're not dry. She's gonna be kissing her husband now. We have to sort those lips out and for my bridal makeup I always do a glowing primer to give that glowy skin in the pictures and in, in let her look radiant. Alright, so for the brows, I'm going to be setting the brows with a little bit of powder to get it matte and ready for the pencil. Alright, so when I started the brows, I realized that the shape that I want to go for there's a little bit of hair in the way, so I'm just taking that off with my razor. I don't mind, it's not that dramatic as it looks. It's just a simple razor blade. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be lining the brows. As you can see, her brow hairs are very thin, so they don't show up as much. So I am definitely feeling it in to go with this um, glam look. She's not a beautiful bride, she's definitely a glam bride. Um, it was a lovely look um, and fit her dress so well. we know the brows is a tedious process it's not long if you do it right but it's very tedious because we're focused to make sure that they're not very far cousins but you know the cousins that are best friends yeah they have to look similar and here you can see I'm using a black liquid liner to give some hair like strokes because as I said her natural brow hairs are very thin and it's a wedding we want her to look natural and beautiful so I'm just putting those and then blending them in because we don't want them to look stark and obvious and doing that and now we're gonna clean it up with a concealer and I'm also gonna use a bit of the concealer to bring it down and cover the darkness of her eyes and then prime her eyes and get into the look showing you the process of me finding the right shade she has a very neutral undertone she has one for olive undertone not so yellow not so red um so i'm testing formulations that will suit her best to make sure that everything is blending and looking flawless in her photos <laughs>
guys can see from the shades that I picked, we definitely picked the good one. The exact one I could barely see while uh, cleaning up the brows. But we're gonna get into the eye look now. And for the look, it's uh, it's not a typical bridal soft glam. It's definitely a full glam bridal look. Um, so and she had her lashes and they complemented the look very much. Um, so she said her dress was um, a silver champagne look. So that's what I went off to go with the eyes. Um, so I'm starting with a red tone transition in the crease and then we're gonna go into some silvers and some champagne color on the lid and we're not doing a cut piece or anything like that um so it's, it's a bit of smoke on the head so i'm applying brown and stuff like that but on the main part of the lid it's or the inner part of the lid it's some champagne silver tones so just enjoy the rest of that I'm using the wipes to clean up the under eye here and then I'm priming I'm using the Mary Kay primer to find primer to prime the skin and then we're going to line the eyes with her liquid liner I did that so that the primer can settle in and before we put the foundation all over the skin I really love this liner by the way if you have more haven't got it yet it's the NYX ink liner go check it out bomb 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 liner trust me and these are her lashes she bought her lashes these are her Amazon from Amazon I will try to link them down below if you guys love them I really did they are very full very dramatic so that's why I said this look went great for her um they're very curled and very voluminous voluptuous yeah and she was having a coughing attack she has asthma and I definitely always take care of my clients so I got her some water to alleviate the dryness of her throat and then we got right back into business I'm using my portable fan to dry the lashes a lot faster and stuff like that so yeah next we're gonna apply the foundation and like I said this foundation matched her very well as you can see even look at her fur you can barely see the foundation there and um, it was a great match I really loved how it came out
I just love seeing the looks coming together. Just look at that bling with the concealer. Yeah, it just looks lovely. Um, so I'm using a lighter concealer on their eyes. I'm not going too light. Just right to bring back the dimensions of her face. So now I'm setting her under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup powder. It's a very red yellow undertone. Um, so it's great for her olive skin tone to brighten the under eyes. And here I'm taking a concealer black, not concealer, a foundation by Black Opal to contour her skin. And I'm just doing a cream contour first and getting the dimensions going in her skin. Isn't it just flawless? Oh, I love, I love this look. Alright, so then I'm gonna use the powder. Um, I believe it's a Black Radiance con Contour Palette that I use. Um, and just deepening that area and bringing the dimension. As you can see, it really highlights the highlighter right now, but everything will be blended after with the powder. And I'm putting a little bit of that um sasha buttercup under the contour to really define it and set it apart from the rest of the foundation and here as you can see i'm blending everything together with her foundation shade and melting everything together while still keeping the definition so moving on to the nose, I'm going to be using the lighter shade in the, the contour palette to contour her nose as well and I'm just defining and bringing it forward. As you can see, it had looked very flat before and as I'm doing this, you can see the depth or the differentiation in her nose and that's what contour is really about and because we're taking pictures, we definitely need that and we're going to be using flash on all of that because it's her wedding day and all of that. So I'm here i am making sure everything is blended and going over with with the foundation brush that i had used to apply some foundation here i'm applying a shimmer um highlight and then i'm going to go into defining her lips something nude very simple because she'd be kissing on her husband and most men don't like to see the lips mark lip marks on their face on that day so we're just doing it very nude and neutral so when they're having their first kiss it will be okay and comfortable for everybody So this is a little mini tip for the makeup artists or even our everyday users who want to blend. You can use a Q-tip as a blending tool to blend the liner and the lipstick together. Just use it to go over and smudge everything together. Alright, so now we're going to finish up the eyes as we finish the base or move 
past the base and we're gonna smoke the under eye a little putting a little bit of brown under the eyes and then i think i'm gonna put a little bit of orange to um mirror the crease in the upper portion of the eyes So now I'm putting some gel, black gel liner in our waterline to define the eyes and bring some definition to the eyes. And I'm using the gel because it runs a little bit less than the pencil or just using powder. Um, the gel is a little bit more resistant to tears as it's a gel. And yeah, so that's what we're doing here. And then we're gonna miss the face because you know we have to make it set and stay for the day and I'm just applying a little bit more of the highlight to really bring it forth and I didn't do too much blush for this look as you guys can see I, I let it stay very neutral because I want it to just be looking like a natural glowy skin natural yeah defined beautiful glowing skin um, on her wedding day I really love the process of showing the clients the look after not yes. being able to see the process and them just loving the outcome and this is her final look taking my pictures for the gram make sure you go and follow Moya Lovely on Instagram and tell me if this is a look that you would do for your wedding or is it more of the dramatic side for you and you do something more of a soft glam. Just look at this face. Look at that smile. Genuinely love this look. Yes. <laughs>